Hi guys and welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today's video is going to be just a little bit different than what I usually do. I woke up this morning and just had this idea in my head for Memorial Day. And I got to tell you that it, it, it spoke to me so heavily that I just had to get in here and create it. I thought long and hard about whether I would do a video on it or not because it's obviously a very personal thing to me. And if you follow my blog, then you've probably read about me and you know my story. If you don't, um, Memorial Day is basically a day that's set aside, most people don't know this, to honor uh, military men and women who were killed in the line of duty killed in action and my son was killed in action in 2009. Uh, he is my inspiration for creating. He always has been and I just kept hearing this voice in my head that said you need to do it, you need to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to use the thinking of you from the sheltering trees I'm going to use the Splash, I call this the Splash, from Sunshine Sayings. And from Timeless Textures, I had multiple choices here, but I actually went with this, oh, grungy, almost looking tattered, and I flipped it upside down. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you the dimensions, even though I will have everything in a link uh, in the description part of the YouTube video that will take you directly to this blog post where all the measurements will be. Uh, the base is Whisper White, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I shamelessly ran out of my cherry cobbler and nine of navy. So what I did was I took Whisper White and my nine of navy and cherry cobbler inks and sponged them up, but you could definitely just use let's say cherry cobbler for this layer which was five and a quarter by four knight of navy for this one which is five by three and three quarters and then this is on whisper white uh the stamped piece which is four and three quarters by three and a half after i did that i pulled out a piece of the wood textures design series that's available june 1st and it's got this old white washed wood looking and so that's what i'm going to do today to uh, expedite everything, I went ahead and I've cut the base, I've cut the white and inked it with a cherry cobbler at five and a quarter by four. I've done the same with the Knight of Navy by five by three and three quarters, and here's my wood texture. I did that because as I'm creating, I'd kind of like to just give you a little uh, information, a little history here. So, right off the bat, let's go ahead and bring in our Timeless Texture Stamp. And we're going to do Cherry Cobbler. And I'm just going to, I want it as rich looking as I can get it, because that's what the American flag is to me. So, I'm just going to stamp across, not and I'm doing it as, as rich as I can. The reason I'm showing you this video today is a lot of people don't know what a gold star family member is. And like I said, that that's a title that you don't want, but that's a title that's given to you as the love as a family member of a loved one who was killed in action so I thought you know what wouldn't it be wonderful if people who created cards could create a card and send it to a gold star family member for <clears throat> excuse me for Memorial Day because by doing that, and like I said, I'm using thinking of you, you're not only telling them that 
you remember their sacrifice because their loved one is no longer with them, but that you remember the individual who was killed in action. And I can tell you as a Gold Star mother, that's your biggest fear in life is that your child will be forgotten. So, like I said, I felt like I was being whispered to, you've got to do it, you've got to do it. And I'm going to say that was my little angel, my hero. That looks pretty good. My son, who was doing that. All right, I took a piece of post-it and I just roughly cut out a star. I just drew a star and then I just roughly cut it out. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Put our cherry cobbler away. Knight of Navy, get it out. We're gonna take our swoosh and get up really good. And I'm gonna start up here in this top corner I love the look of this. It, to me, it's just so patriotic. Just coming over. I'm leaving it on there long enough for that ink to sink in. Coming down. Holding it on there. And one last time. So I've stamped this swoosh four times. Letting it all, for lack of a better term, bleed together. There we go. Now, I can put that away. Well, we need to leave that out for a sentiment. Let's go ahead and do that. There's a little white section down here, and I'm doing this in Night of Navy also, so I'm just kind of lining it up. There we go. Okay. Now we're just gonna pull off our star. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's pull in our other layers. Just gonna put everything down with snail. thought this would looked best because it popped those red stripes out you guys still have plenty of time if you wanted to do something for someone that you know that would love to receive a card like this And there you go. So here's the one I did with just on Whisper White. And then the couple I did with the Wood Textures denim series paper. I hope this uh, inspired you today and that you will get out there and react. Um, I would love to end this video by saying This is my hero. This is my son. I hope you enjoyed this. Honor someone today who gave everything they had for us. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.